Uh, Minnesota's overall poverty rate is declining. However, more people are using local food shelves. Reporter Sonia Goen shows us how a small, lesser known food shelf in New Hope is helping others. And did you have the green beans? A small army of volunteers restocked the shelves at the Hope Bridge food shelf. Even though it's in the middle of New Hope, they say a lot of people don't know about it. This is our dry goods room. The food shelf is part of New Hope Church and is 100% funded by church members. They're trying to reach out. I like to say we all have a piece of the pie. If our neighbor has a need, all of us have a responsibility to help meet that need. Cassie Davison Bear is the community outreach director at Hope Bridge. People just come in and make the full circle. All of our um, fruits and veggies and all of that are in the cooler. The food shelf serves residents in Plymouth, New Hope, and Crystal. As a first ring suburb, we've definitely seen more residents coming here looking for affordable housing, looking for um, jobs that can help meet their family's needs. Cassie says people don't always think of poverty when it comes to the Northwest Metro, but it does exist. Our clients range the spectrum. We have clients who have larger families. We've seen a rise in single older women. Maybe they've been recently divorced and all of a sudden they're finding them in a new situation for the first time they need a food shelf. Hope Bridge is not only dishing out food, but they're feeding souls, offering spiritual guidance to anyone who might need it. Anyone who would like to, we offer to pray with them. And we just really treasure that time where we get to hear some of the joys and some of the challenges going on in their life. Hope Bridge is also bagging up encouragement, uplifting people when they need it the most. If they come through the door and they leave just a little bit more hopeful or positive than they came in, that's, that's the best. Sonia Goins, CCX News. Hope Bridge is open Thursday from 4 to 8 p.m. and Saturday from 9 until noon. For more information on services or volunteer opportunities, you can visit our website, ccxmedia.org.